Hi, this is Wayne with Specialized Maintenance Awning Cleaning Service talking to you today about hose management. Right now I have three hoses, let's see if we can see this here, draining. I've just done a, an awning here, it's a rather large one. Well over a thousand square feet of awning material and I've used three hoses here. Two are 120 feet long and I have a 50 foot one. One of the big advantages of draining a hose is to get the water weight out. And during the winter time, if you live in an area where your hoses might freeze, that could really hold up and delay your work while you're waiting to thaw them out. So I recommend draining your hoses. There's a couple ways to do this. I have a nice downhill here, so by opening the hoses up and allowing them to flow downhill, I can remove the water. Makes them much easier to haul around. With all that extra water in there, it just really makes them heavy, difficult to haul. You can see we've gotten quite a bit of the water out. One of my favorite things on a hose is the shutoff valve you can see right here. It's on in this position and that's the off position. And it keeps you from one having to run back to the uh, spigot and turning it off and on. So it's really great. Now if you don't have a hill, what you need to do is to uh, firefighters use it to drain a hose on flat level ground. And let's see if I can demonstrate that over here. What you want to do is be able to pick up the hose and carry it over your shoulder. Pick it up like this and drape it over your shoulder. Let me get a tripod and set it up so you can see it a little better. Stand by just a second. Hi, I'm back now and I'm going to show you, you can see me there, on how to drain a hose using a fireman hose technique to drain hoses. Let me show that to you right now. So, uh, let's see if I can tell you how that's done. You want to start with the end of the hose, pick it up so that you've got some uh, elevation so that the water will drain with gravity. Show you one more time. I like hose management. It's really a good thing to do. Your hoses will tangle if you don't take care of them properly, and then you're in a mess. Looks like this will work. Let's do it to these two hoses real quick. Well, that's how it's done, how to drain a hose. Now I'm going to show you how to tie a hose up if you don't have a hose reel. And it just requires a, about a four foot, five foot piece of a thin rope. And I'm going to show you that coming up right now. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next section. Well, I'm back and I'm on my knees today so I can uh, show you what I'm about to show you on how to roll up a hose to make it really easy to handle. And as I mentioned, it just requires a piece of thin rope, maybe 
this long, five feet or so, and it really helps to secure your hoses as you transport them. This is my bright shirt. It's because we brighten people's image by cleaning awnings and we keep their image bright. One of our slogans is, it's not just an awning, it's your image. So let me show you that hose real enough. This is the rope. I like to put a bow just like you would do with a tie and a shoe. Now that's easy to handle. It's lightweight because the water's been drained out of it. And this is perfect for storage. Well, thanks for watching this video. We'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, what I'm going to show you now is how to roll up 120 feet of hose and make it easy to handle. I've drained this hose and now I'm going to roll it up for you and tie it up with a rope. That's how it's done. And now haul it away with the water drained. It's much lighter, much better to handle. Put it over your shoulder and here you can head on out and take care of business. Well, thanks for viewing this video. Have a great day.